We've been in Thailand for uh, about 10 days now. We decided to give it a shot and today we're gonna try to rent a bike and move around with that. Hi, ready for another adventure. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> Great start, it won't start. We are in a new city now. We just checked it last night. Last night was a long, yesterday was a long travel. It was so long. It was a long travel. Way longer than expected. Four to five hour flight. We have a layover in there. And one hour from the airport to our Airbnb. We didn't know it was so far away from downtown Phuket. Yeah, after waiting for one hour too. And now we're gonna give you a room tour. The most beautiful Airbnb I've ever stayed in. It's so fancy. It looks like a hotel, but it's not a hotel. It's yeah. bigger than our apartment in Toronto. Oh, definitely. We can't <laughs> compare that. Anyway, today also is gonna be our first day roaming around Phuket. We didn't get a chance last night because like we said, we checked in so late. This guys is our beautiful bedroom. The bed is huge, is very solid and we love it. We have a nice view over there. Beautiful closet. And then follow me. We're gonna go into our beautiful spacious living room. And then here, our messy bathroom. There's a walk-in shower where you can dance, you can <laughs> clean yourself. <laughs> and then this is our awesome kitchen. Oh my god, that's like a washing machine. Is it a washing machine? It is. We did not know that. So that is the tour of the Airbnb. It is so small and now we're heading out to see Phuket for the first time. I'm so excited. All right, first impression of Phuket. It is definitely a lot warmer, hotter more humid down here because if you look at the map we were in Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai where it was the north part of Thailand I think there's a lot of mountains over there and when we crossed Bangkok we went all the way south all the way south to Phuket a lot warmer here in the morning usually around this time in Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai was still quite chilly so you could have used this weather but here absolutely no need for a sweater good thing i checked because i was gonna grab a sweater and then put it on my waist but definitely no need look at me i'm in my tank top and i'm already hot it's 27 degrees already but anyway first agenda today is we're gonna look for a coffee shop because we cannot start a day without coffee that's just who we are this morning we really wanted to wake up very very early so we set an alarm for 5 30 but unfortunately we were so tired from the trip last night that we stayed in bed a little longer so now it's 8 o'clock and we're just starting the day. Also, I noticed there's a lot of um, halal restaurant and halal food in Phuket. I wonder if there's a lot more Muslim population down here. Do you guys have coffee? Do you have coffee? Coffee? Well, we've been to two places and looks like coffee is not easy to be found here. Also, maybe the area that we're in. We don't want to be picky, but when it comes to coffee, we are. <laughs> we're picky with coffee. Do you have coffee? coffee oh she can operate the machine so that was close we found a restaurant with coffee machine a very good coffee machine but she doesn't know how to operate it oh they do they have coffee and it's a very nice restaurant it's ac we don't normally like ac but in this heat we need ac we found our coffee spot and it looks very nice it's fairly close to where we're staying so i think we're gonna come here quite often so I asked for some sugar and this is the choice that I got here. Sugar, brown sugar, natural rock sugar, crystal caramel sugar, fructose. This is the cutest. We're just sharing one egg and one rice and two coffees. So now we're gonna eat and we're gonna update you later. Guys, so change of plans since it's so hot. We've been in Thailand for uh, about 10 days now. We decided to give it a shot and today we're gonna try to rent a bike and move around with that. Cabs are so expensive, so we decided that the cheapest way for us to get around is to rent a motorbike. It's 300 baht to rent a bike for the whole day and it is the most efficient way because the island is so, it's not huge, but it's spread apart where we needed to go and especially the beach, it's all the way to the west and we are staying in the east of part of the island. I don't wanna wear the helmet, my hair. <laughs> Hi, ready for another adventure. All right, guys, here we go. Where do I put my feet? Nowhere. Great start. <laughs> Great start, it won't start. It won't start. <laughs> we'll try again. Are we too heavy? It won't start. What a great start, Fabio. 
<laughs> oh, it's cold in the morning. <laughs> it's like 30 degrees. That's why it didn't start. But hey, it started. But if this dies in the middle of the road, we are screwed. So this is the first time driving in the left side of the road and on a motorbike. Fun! How was it, Fabio? Beach says it's full. It's empty. The <laughs> gas is empty. First try with the motorbike success. Fabio, you did well. It's a bit stressful, I, I have to say, guys. You don't know. There's a lot of factor. First, driving the left side and the bike being no gas in it. <laughs> By the way, guys, this is the viewpoint. So this is the most top part of Phuket where you can view the entire city. Let's see if we can fly the drone here. So up here, there's a lot of coffee shop. And now I'm saying we should have gone for coffee here instead of downtown, you know. But tomorrow we're thinking of coming back here for sunrise and we're gonna have coffee here. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Tomorrow morning, sunrise. This was quite an adventure guys, riding a motorbike on the other side of the street in a foreign country. It's quite challenging, but we got to this point and it's so beautiful. The view is stunning, it's amazing. And now tourists are coming, we are leaving. <laughs> you know the drill. Also, I think it's beautiful up here, either sunrise or sunset. So I think we have to come back now that we have yeah, a motorbike. Yeah. So I think Phuket is not really like Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai where there's a lot of temples and a lot of places to see and touristy areas. I think Phuket is mainly known for their beaches. So most of the time we're gonna spend in the beach here in Phuket. Now that we have a motorbike, it's gonna be, we're probably gonna be finished with all this sightseeing. Okay, so the next stop is the Jui Tui Shrine. I think it's Ju Tu, Jui Tui Shrine. Let's go, back onto the bike. Safety first. You really parked attached to me. Oh my god, I got worried. I thought it's not gonna start. Let's go! This is the hardest part, turning left or turning right. We're gonna follow the other cars. Perfect! Yes! Park where the lady was. Go after this blue car. Look at you! You did it! Thank God I drove in Italy for so long. It's freaking scary. It's just basically the same rules. The difference is just that you're driving on the left side of the road instead of the right. Oh. I think it's safe to leave our helmet. Look at this girl. He, she left her bag. Yeah. You you did well. I right, next stop is this temple looking thing. This is a traditional Chinese temple, very respected temple, and that's where people come to celebrate birthdays and uh, special occasions, but also to face their sorrows. All right, guys, so that was a very quick visit to the Chinese temple. There's really not much to see. It's literally a temple, and I feel uncomfortable going in there as a tourist because people are actually going in there to pray and to actually worship and to light and sit. Right now we're just gonna go to the next location, which is another temple. Off to the next one. I can be an Uber driver here in Phuket. Gas break. <laughs> Guys, this was a longer than expected ride, definitely. And it was a bit scary because at times it looked like we were going into a highway or at least the streets were very, very big, lots of traffic, and I'm not used to it yet, so. It was tricky. But now we're here at Cha Long Temple and it looks like it's a big area where there's places to eat at. So I think we're gonna grab lunch here as well. Really is the only best way to go around Phuket by driving the motorcycle because it's so easy to get around. Maybe a car as well, but a car is so expensive and we asked the rental place. They won't let you rent a car for one day only or two days. It has to be at least three days and they'll be so expensive for us. And we didn't tell you the only thing that you need to look out for if you're driving here in Phuket is are the police because if you don't have an international driver's license the police could stop you 
and you have to pay a fine 1,000 baht. I'm not sure if it's a fine or it's a bribe. We heard from our driver friend from Chiang Mai that police here don't get paid a lot so that's one of the ways that they make more money. I mean it's not bad what they're doing because you do have to have an international license to drive and if you don't you have to pay a fine so just look at it that way. But here guys we're here now there's a lot of shops around us and the temple is right in front of us. Guys, it is so hot, so we're getting some refreshments. I can't imagine coming here in April. Like, it's actually hot. Mango smoothie. Oh, I taste the mango. You know how in Canada, mango smoothie is like powder mango. Here is real mango. We were expecting to get here and find a huge temple, but instead we found a huge market. Here we climbed on the three floors, on the top floor of the tree that we have here in this temple. And apparently behind this uh, glass, there's a bone fragment of Buddha. So there's also a mantra that you can say, and then you can put your offer in here, your wish. So we walked around the market and we saw the temples, but now it's getting incredibly hot. It's uh, noon, the sun is high, the heat is rising. Hot. It's very hot. So we're ready to go back home and we're gonna chill, do some work, maybe jump in a pool and call it a day. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Thank you Lord, because we survived this ride. There's gonna be a lot more rides. Tonight and tomorrow, that's it. We will survive. God is watching over us. We're gonna eat now. Hey guys, part of the condo tour is... Wow! Infinity pool, guys. This is where we're gonna be spending most of our afternoon. We deserve it. Yeah, we definitely deserve it. So this is on the 14th floor and there's no one. Probably it's because it's one o'clock in the afternoon and it's, it's way hot. too hot. It's hot. And there's no shade whatsoever. It's hot. So we came here just to jump in and then enjoy it for a moment and then we'll go back to work. <laughs> 